Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony Northeastern and I hope you're all keeping safe and well and uh, yes we're back at the bench and um, as you can see we have a North British BR10800 um, diesel locomotive in front of you um, yeah built around 1962 um, the engine output of 827 HP horsepower weighs around about 70 tons. Uh, transmission is BTH electric. Um, yeah, a, a lot of interesting facts about this locomotive. But um, yep, it started work on the LMS um, railway. Um, did a lot of secondary line duties on branch lines mostly because um, it was a prototype yeah, so interesting lots of interesting data regarding this locomotive so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in a 21 pin chip and then we're going to see it running on the layout um, but before we do we'll have a closer look all the buffers are sprung loaded and what I like about this one I think I've got to be really really careful with this is the handrails here really really delicate really really fine handrails probably made of 0 0.5 wire so you've got to be really careful with those and if I flip the loco round there's another interesting little tiny detail there so handling of this locomotive has got to be taken with great care I think but yeah it'd be interesting to see this running on the layout so I've undone the four screws, um, two of them is underneath the front bogey and the other two screws are, um, one is underneath the cab and the other one is underneath the battery box on this side. So let's just see how delicately this comes off, it's quite a tight fit and there you go, that's off. That's, that was easier than I thought it would be. So there we see the the blank. So we will remove the blank. No, it's not. It's quite tightly in there. Normally they just pop off. All right. So let's get a flathead screwdriver. See if we can just prise it off very, very gently. There she goes. Just twisting the screwdriver. Not exerting a lot of pressure. Oh dear, it's coming undone now. Right, there we go. There's the, the pins. 21 pin decoder. I'm using a Backman. Uh, easy, easy command decoder. So just there we go. That's right. So that's the decoder in. Right. So I've lined up the chassis with the body now. So it's just a case of pressing it home. I've got to be really careful with this part. So I'll just make sure that it goes down together. It's a little bit tight. Ah, there we go. I've got to just hear that clip so I know that everything's gone back to where it was. So all I've got to do is line up all the handrails because they've all come loose but they've, uh, they've come loose and undone but they're not they have not come away from the chassis so I shall do that first and then um, put the screws back in so I'll just line up all the handrails that have come undone and pop them back in their relevant holes Let's 
so delicate, these little wires. Just wait for them to pop, pop in. And then we got that one. Yep, so a couple of more to do around here. Just there. Okay. Right, so we'll put the screws back in. Screws, there's two in there. There's one there. And there's one in this side as well. So we shall put them back together. Right, so I've got it back together again. Um, what I did find useful is the um, little detail pack that you get with it. Um, some extra handrails, um, which has come in handy because I had to use uh, uh, one of those spare handrails for there. Um, because what, they, what they've done in the factory, possibly, they've uh, super glued them or into the uh, the body of the locomotive and then just let them drop into the holes. Um, I've accidentally scratched the paint a little bit there but I can touch that up using a, a bit of black mat and a cotton bud just to wipe that off. But um, these things happen when you're um, taking the bodies off of chassis but um, on the whole I managed to um, not break anything else which is good so we can now safely say we'll give this a trial I've just got to oil up the the wheels underneath um, make sure that I've, that the oil goes into these bogies because that's where the um, mechanisms are for the well the gears are for turning the wheels because both bogies are live on all eight pickups so Let's give it a run out. Now that it's on the track we can have a closer and proper look at it. Um, what I have noticed is that these bogies are really really bright. I think I may have to weather them down a little bit. Maybe with some um, black weathering powder or something like that just to tone them down because they are quite bright. Um, other little details I've noticed, which I didn't pick on, on before, is the, which looks like a chimney, but it's probably not. It's probably an exhaust pipe from the, from the massive engine that's uh, built into this diesel locomotive. Um, I think I've already mentioned that all the buffers are sprung loaded, and uh, I fitted the N, NAM pocket coupling, so it's ready to rock and roll. So, let's see it running.
Yep, another great locomotive from Helgen. The prototype 1080 really runs a treat. Very, very smooth over the crossovers. No problems at all. Um, no problems up Stevenson's bank. Uh, the only thing I would say is be wary of the handrails and the ladders um, because the, the sharp edges can scratch the paint but you can't see where I've touched up the paint which is good. Yeah, uh, another addition to the layout and the boys over at the diesel depot will enjoy working on this so yeah so i hope you've enjoyed the video um interesting to run uh, a diesel for a change because mostly it's always been steam locomotives so on that note i hope you've enjoyed what you've seen and uh thanks again for watching bye for now